Hello everybody, welcome back to the Medical Projects YouTube channel. If you are new around here, my name is Olivia and I am a second year medical student studying at King's College London. And here at Medical Projects, we're creating YouTube videos all about how to be successful in your medical school application and give an insight into what life as a medical student is really like. So if you like the sound of that, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave any video requests you'd like us to do in the comments down below. So for today's video, we are going to be comparing biomedical sciences versus medicine. So what each degree looks like, what you can do after your degree, and how the overall course structure might differ between the two. If you didn't know, I'm quite qualified to talk about this topic because I actually completed a three-year biomedical sciences degree at the University of Bristol before studying medicine at King's College London. So I can safely say I've had the best of both worlds and I understand how the courses differ. And I'll talk a little bit about my personal experience with both of them so that hopefully after this video, if you're stuck between deciding which one you'd like to do, it can offer you a bit of clarity. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be comparing are the differences in the course content between medicine and biomedical sciences. So if you're studying biomedical sciences, you're mainly looking at the science that underpins medicine. So you're looking at molecular genetics, you're looking at microbiology, you're looking at biochemical pathways. So you're basically looking at all the microscopic nitty gritty science that underpins modern medicine. In medicine, you will notice a lot of overlap with biomedical sciences. You'll be covering similar sorts of topics in your first couple of years before you move on to placement. But in medicine, there's a greater focus on applying the medicine and having that practical aspect to the course. So things like clinical skills and being able to diagnose are things you will do in medicine, but are not topics you'll cover in biomedical sciences. So for example, in biomedical sciences, you might go into great depth looking at how cancer develops and how, for example, melanoma develops on the skin. In medicine, this scientific aspect will be summarised much more briefly and instead you'll be focusing on how to identify the melanomas on people's skin and diagnose skin cancer, for example. So you have much more hands-on content. If you have a really keen interest in biology and how the human body works, but are more interested in applying this in a real life situation and interacting with patients, perhaps medicine is a better fit for you. If you're more interested in drug discovery and understanding how things work at a microscopic level, then biomedical sciences might be the better fit. The next thing I want to talk about is how the weekly schedules differ between the two courses. So what sort of thing you can expect to be getting up to on a weekly basis in biomedical sciences versus being in medical school. In general, as a biomedical sciences student, you will be in lectures more or less nine to five most days, or at least that's what it was like for me in first year. In general, biomedical sciences is a very lecture heavy course. So you'll be in lectures for a lot of your weekly timetable. And then you'll also be expected to be attending tutorials, which are basically small group teaching sessions with a few students where you go through a bit of work you've had to do prior to the tutorial. As a biomedical sciences student, a lot of your time will also be allocated to being in labs. So you'll usually have three or five hour labs. In first year of biomedical sciences, I had, I think it was two, three hour labs a week. And then this amped up to five hour labs in second year. And then finally in third year, you'll be doing your own dissertation. So you'll be doing a lab based project more often than not. So a lot of my work in first year revolved around writing up lecture notes and also preparing for labs and writing up lab reports after doing the labs. Whereas in medicine, you have a bit more of a varied timetable. It is similar to biomedical sciences in the sense that there are also a lot of lectures to cover, at least in the preclinical years. And you do have some labs, although these aren't as in depth or complicated as biomedical sciences labs are. In medicine, you'll also have a lot of labs that focus on looking at the human body and specifically physiology of the human body. So one of the ones that I've done this year was looking at a nerve conduction study. So that was really interesting too. And of course in medicine, you'll be practicing clinical skills. So you'll have some time allocated to that and then when you get into your clinical years you'll have placement days as well as well as that you'll also have anatomy classes where you might be looking at prosected specimens or you might be doing full body dissection depending on what the uni offers so overall i would say in medicine there's a lot more variety to your timetable and you have a lot more different types of classes that you're expected to attend and in terms of lecture content i'd say your commitment to lectures is about the same across both degrees however in biomedical sciences i would say that you're expected to know things in a lot more 
more depth. Whereas in medicine, you cover a much broader range of topics. So it's more about breadth rather than depth. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is comparing the workloads and assessment styles across both degrees. I do want to say that obviously I'm very biased towards my personal experience here, but in my personal experience, I found that the workload for biomedical sciences was a lot heavier and much more consistently heavy compared to medicine. In biomedical sciences, I found that my workload consisted firstly of writing up my lectures every day, but then also preparing for my tutorials, which took me a long time. Usually a bit of tutorial work would take between sort of seven and eight hours. And then I would be writing essays about various scientific topics. So this might be looking at a specific pathway in biochemistry, or it might be looking at the infectious cycle of a virus, for example. And then in my university, we also had mid unit assessments. So I'd often be preparing for these mini exams as well as the overall final exams in January and in the summertime. In medicine, at least in King's College London, what we have is a portfolio. Your portfolio has numerous different tasks that you're expected to complete throughout the year, and they have very generous timescales on them. It might be some online quizzes you have to do, or a prescribing simulator you have to complete. There's loads of different mini tasks and they're not that difficult in comparison to the tutorial work I did in my biomedical sciences degree. Like I said, the work really amps up in medicine during your exam season because you do have to remember a bunch of lectures. In King's, our assessment style is multiple choice questions. So it basically means that you have to remember a little bit about an awful lot of content. Overall, in terms of the workload, I would say that the workload was much heavier in biomedical sciences. Also something to bear in mind is that when you're studying towards a traditional BSc degree like biomedical sciences, at the end of your degree, you're given a classification of either a first, a 2-1 or a 2-2. And this means that a lot of your work, be it essays, tutorial work, exam results, mid-sessional exam results, all count towards your degree classification. Whereas with medicine, you don't have this. You simply have a pass or a fail and you can graduate with honours if you do exceptionally well. But overall, I would say there's much less pressure on individual bits of work. Whereas I'd say there's perhaps more pressure on passing your exams and doing well. The next thing I want to talk about is a comparison between the work-life balance when you're studying medicine and when you're studying biomedical sciences. Now, as I've kind of alluded to, I personally find at this point in time, I have more free time in my medicine degree than I did with my biomedical sciences degree. So I expect that later on down the line in my final few clinical years, I will have much less time than I currently have. But I have to say that right now, my experience is that I have much more free time to do extracurriculars. It's also probably worth noting that if we're discussing a work-life balance, it's probably going to be better in the long run if you're studying biomedical sciences as opposed to medicine. We all know that doctors work really long hours and the work-life balance is not the best currently. So that's definitely something to consider in terms of your long-term career progression. Finally, the last thing I want to discuss are your career prospects studying biomedical sciences versus medicine. One thing that's quite nice about studying medicine is you kind of have a safety net in terms of your career prospects. There's probably always going to be a job for you as a doctor and there's so many opportunities for you to study abroad. And also if you're missing that research aspect side of things, you can also do an academic foundation program when you graduate, which allows you research opportunities. There are also opportunities for you to undertake some research projects during medical school. So if you think this is something you're going to be missing out on as a medical student, it certainly is not. I think it's actually a lot more interesting to think about what you can do with a biomedical sciences degree. A lot of people are a bit unsure about what you can do. And the answer is there are so many different things you can do. It's actually a really versatile degree to do and it opens up so many different job opportunities for you. The most obvious career you can choose after you graduate is being a biomedical scientist in a hospital. And what this involves is helping doctors diagnose patients by looking at their blood work and looking at, you know, different microorganisms that might be growing in certain fluid samples under a microscope and assisting doctors with diagnosing them that way. Another thing you might consider doing is going into forensics. So you might be looking at sequencing DNA that's found in a crime scene or looking at blood smears. You might work as a medicinal chemist where you're researching into new drugs that have potential applications for diseases that we can't yet treat. You could be a microbiologist, a toxicologist. You could go and be a physician associate after you've done biomedical sciences. And you can even do medicine like I am doing. So in short, if you're not sure if you want to do medicine, I definitely recommend doing biomedical sciences. Medicine is a huge commitment. And if you're not sure it's going to be the career for you, 
I just suggest waiting a little while. Obviously there's many things you need to factor in if you're planning on doing two degrees, but my overall point is that if you choose biomedical sciences, you are in no way closing the door to doing medicine in the future. Overall, I can say that I absolutely loved my degree in biomedical sciences. It gave me the opportunity to really develop a deep, extensive knowledge on multiple scientific topics. It just gave me that kind of burning interest in science and has made me really excited to continue on and do medicine. If you really like interacting with patients and want your own skills to make a difference that you can see, I definitely recommend going into medicine. There are so many different things to consider, but I hope this video helped you understand a few of the differences between these degrees. They're often quite confused, but they are very distinct different degrees. If there are any other videos you would like us to do, please let us know in the comments down below. And if you're planning to study medicine or biomedical sciences, or if you are applying to do so, please chat to us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.